Hello, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, so first and foremost, uh, I need to do this uh, straight away with no hesitation. Coronavirus. There, we are demonetized. Now that <laughs> now that, that has been taken care of, we don't need to worry anymore. You know, so, that, read, that might actually have no been question. a personal record for you in terms of how quick it would, uh, how quick or how much time you would need to get the stream demonetized. That was like six <laughs> seconds. Exactly. So not bad. So, guys, good. Uh, thank good, you very much awesome. for showing up to this uh, shit show. I just want to uh, I want you all to know that the reason why we're having this uh, this hangout unannounced is because Geo decided to shine the cunt signal. So, uh, all of us on Team Cunt are here. Thank you very much for showing up. But Geo, um, you have some explaining to do. But first, uh, let's go ahead and introduce some people. So we have Brainy. For some fucking reason, you're here. I know. Hello. Hi. Thank you. And uh, Geo is here, you know, the guy who shined the cunt signal. So, hi, Geo. How's it going? Hi, I'm good so All right. far, I and guess. Then, and then we you know, have... Living, uh, living in the, in the hotspot region is not a good thing to, to be doing at the moment. Uh, yeah, that's right. And also we have uh, uh, microblogginism. Hey, how's my favorite Jello? I'm good. <laughs> Again, and... I, I might. I'm probably going to end up sick because I'm an idiot. Can can can, can Jello actually get infected with Corona? Well, there's only one way to find out. You know what? That's the, why I'm an idiot. <laughs> the, the sacrifices you make for science is just amazing. But anyway, uh, as I've said uh, previously, uh, the reason why we're having this hangout is because uh, Geo decided to shine the cunt signal, and when the cunt signal is shined, then you must reply. So, Geo, what the fuck is actually going on? Okay, so we all know who Anthony Riley is. Unfortunately. Sadly, yes. Yeah, we all yeah. know that he's a fucking idiot, ding. Yeah, uh, he's, he's, he's the dumb fuck of the year. Right, at the moment he is, that's true. That he's a fucking idiot who has proven in the last few years that the endless amount of a stream of bad ideas that's coming out of his quote-unquote brain is not stopping, it's in fact accelerating. But at the end of the day, so far, everything he has said is more or less harmless. It doesn't kill anyone. It doesn't hurt anyone. Well, physically. But in my opinion, this, this line was just crossed. Um, on his channel page, he actually posted a very concerning uh, comment regarding the pandemic that is happening around the globe. Riley, yeah, it's a globe um, at this moment. Mm. And I think we should uh, talk about it and discuss why, first of all, it's wrong, and second of all, why it's dangerous as hell to talk about that kind of thing in the way that Riley does. Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and read this. So, uh, Sleeping Warrior, uh, Anthony Riley, a.k.a. the dumb fuck of the year, uh, has said the following. Stop, so, can, you, can you maybe screen share it? Uh, uh, well, I'm, sc I'm screen sharing it to the, uh, to the live stream so people can see it. Uh, I won't be able to do it internally, unfortunately. Uh, but it says, so Tom Hanks and his wife have Corona. Uh, make, uh, God damn it. Hang on. Okay. Yeah. Can we stop already? Yeah. They don't have Corona. They have, they, they have COVID-19. That's the name of the disease. I mean, they're in Australia. They probably have both. Listen, listen. I'll start over, but. In a way that makes more sense. <clears throat> so Tom Hanks and his <laughs> wife have Corona. Mikhail Artita has it. Talks of the Premier League being suspended as of tomorrow. Australian Grand Prix cancelled. Where are all the deaths? What are we now? Ten, all elderly or infirm, cause of death said to be corona, but with no evidence, just claims. It's still a drill being passed off as real world, unless mortality at least gets above 5%. Anything less simply isn't statistically significant. This is going to be gone as quick as it was here. Something else is going on. Not nearly enough people are 
dying to justify this. So, what else is going on? So, that's what he said. Should we, Comments? Should we just take it from the top? Uh, sure. So, Tom Hanks and his wife have corona. No, they have COVID-19. Corona is not the name of the disease, not of the name of the disease, nor the virus. I thought it was called the beer flu. Well, no. Oh, okay. Some people have it, blah, blah, blah. They're wisely shutting down big sporting events that would have a lot of people together. Yeah. They're gonna, the things are shutting down everywhere. My NHL yeah. tickets, the rest of my season's NHL tickets. The last season, I wasn't buying tickets next season because I can't afford them, and they, I don't have tickets for the rest of the season anyways. I was going to take Factored, and, you know, that's just out the window now. The schools, I just got an email. Schools are shut down. I'm getting emails from the different uh, larger businesses I have contracts with, with my small startup company, and they're all now going to be checking my forehead for temperature if I walk into their building and, and asking me where I've been. Uh, Alberta's banned groupings above 250 people. Like the hammer's dropping right now. Yeah, I think there's... my school just emailed me and shut off. Like, I, if I didn't say that, I don't know. Yeah. Um, the, Kids' school. Uh, yeah, the United States is apparently underneath some sort of lockdown. And uh, again, that's if you believe the president, which I personally don't because he's a fucking idiot. But uh, yeah, apparently uh, the United States is responding. <laughs> <laughs> responding yeah right uh so yeah apparently they're responding my district in particular is doing something about schools closing uh and also they're canceling a few events i know there's a few parades like in new york city or somewhere but, else that's been like, canceled i mean shit's going down like i don't know if we should just jump right into it the thing i want to start by saying is like okay so people are like oh it's only the people with underlying health conditions you realize one of the underlying health conditions is fucking asthma right like like this is this is like how many Americans have asthma? It's something like 30 million Americans have asthma. And don't get me wrong, the doctor I watched said now there's varying degrees of asthma, but he said if you get a cold and you, it ends up exacerbating your asthma, then you're the kind of person that might have a bit of an issue. Yeah, so exactly. I mean, people need to people. That's a lot of fucking people. I know plenty of people in my life who you know every once yes. in a while they don't need it always, but they have to pull out an inhaler and because they're having troubles breathing. Well, those are the fucking people that will die from this or Let potentially me, will be more likely apparently apparently riley doesn't care about about, about those people well also it's, that's not, it's, it's also not it's also not only asthma it's also diabetes that's, that's, talking about, thing. that's where we're talking I about the united to, states here that's that's where One i want to, to come in, in for a second and just uh, make something very clear uh 10 euros uh fake money uh, Reds, I know this is supposed to be funny, but I personally know somebody who has this crap and it doesn't look this bright for her, so just turn it down a notch, please. Let me m be very clear on who I'm making fun of. I'm not making yeah, fun we're not. of... Jesus. I'm, not, I'm not making fun of the people who have this, and obviously I feel for them. I'm making fun of people who think the way that Riley does. Yeah, I don't think that anybody... If, you, if you've taken already away from this that we think the coronavirus is a joke, then I think that you've gone the wrong direction with listening to us because what we're trying to tell people right now is that anybody who thinks it's a joke needs to be serious. And yeah. they need to really... Because his statement of unless it's got 5%, well, let me tell you just right off the bat, right now, as an average, it's looking... And I have graphs to show, but it's looking on an average across society. It's got a fatality rate of 1% to 3%. Well, across society, the flu has... People say, oh, the older... Well, always more likely to die well the, the same flu has that same average across society at 0.1 percent so this thing is anywhere from 10 to 30 times more deadly on average and it gets worse as you get older if you're above and, 65 and, it's like 10 percent already i think and, that and, and at this point we should also we should also right. remember that the flu uh the mortality rate of the flu is uh probably higher no, than in, it, actu it, it, than in than in actuality, because oh, I see. Um, we don't n actually know. Uh, like th the number of flu cases every year is likely underreported because you only get the cases where people actually go to the doctor. 
So yeah, but I, they, I even this is underreported too because they estimate for every one person that goes in and actually gets, especially in America where they're not testing at all, which yeah. is ridiculous. But for every, even in places like Canada where we are testing, somebody says, I think I'm sick, I was on a plane, and they test them. They're finding that for every one person that shows symptoms enough that they think they need to get tested, there is up to, the statistics are showing now there's six to seven people walking around that are asymptomatic that are now spreading mm -hmm. it. Can, can we maybe stop getting ahead of ourselves and go through his comments one sentence at a time? Oh, yeah, sure. Fair point. Fair okay. point. Yeah, my, my okay. apologies. All right, let's go ahead and uh, try this real quick. Let me bring the uh, shit show of a fucking comment up again. Because obviously he's not starting with the statistics that he'll talk about in, at the second part of the, okay. of the oh, comment. That's fine. And I have, I have the graphs ready when you guys want them. So. Sounds, yeah, right. The, sounds, the first part good. is actually... Hold, 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 it, hold off. Hold off, guys. Hold off. So let me just read the first the first line. So Tom Hanks and his wife have corona. Uh, Mikel Artita has it. Talks of the Premier League being suspended as of tomorrow. Australian Grand Prix cancelled. So that's the first line. And then the second line is, where are all the deaths? What are we now? 10, all Ugh. elderly or infirm, cause of death said to be corona, but no evidence, just claims. So well, those 10 deaths are, are in the UK. About, yes, we're talking about the UK only at this moment. Right? Yes. It's, you it's know, not the country... Into account all, the, all the deaths that happened in Europe and obviously not everything that's happened in East Asia. But they're just getting sick. I mean, what the hell does he think happens? Like, it's not Ebola. It's not killing people in 36 hours. You got to, it has an incubation time on average of seven days. And then they need to get sick enough to have to go to the hospital. That's why they're all canceling everything. Because what it is, is that we're not being told. I mean, you can suss it out pretty easily that the, the, wave bigger, is, the wave is coming. You're not seeing the bigger picture here. He's claiming full on conspiracy. He's saying that those 10 people in question did not die of the virus or did possibly not die of the virus. Yep. Oh, just claims. I see. Yeah. I see where you're going yeah, with just, it. Yeah, that claims. He's trying to say they didn't even necessarily die uh, of the uh, virus. Exact, exact ver verbiage here. Cause of death said to be corona, but uh, but no evidence. Just claims. Cause of death said to be corona, but no evidence. Just claims. Yeah, he's he's strongly implying here that it wasn't corona, in my opinion. And he saying is, that, Fulon full is missing what the actual experts said about this. You know, the doctors that were diagnosing everything. I That's think what we have here is a case of hyper skepticism, but keep this in mind that once you believe one conspiracy, you have to believe all conspiracies. And if there is yep. and if there isn't a conspiracy about a a you know worldwide event like this, just make one up yourself. Also, right. again, he's only focusing on the UK. He's fucked the, a country that is where where the spread With has the just started. Like it's, it's just doing arguably yeah. UK is doing better than Europe as a whole. Just like if you went to North America and you compared Canada to America, you'd be like, "Fuck, it's nothing. We got a few cases." It's like, yeah, but we've been holding up the fort pretty good here. Let me make uh, let, let me make an, an announcement real quick. Let me make an announcement real quick. Uh, Bob, the science guy, if you have me on the uh, on the Ooh. Hangouts, please message me. Or oh, yes, hit please. me up on Twitter, and I will send you a DM with the link to this uh, call. And then, since you're an actual doctor, Expert, I, think, exactly. I, I think your opinion would be valuable here. Yeah, we, we, we. I was looking for him on the, if you saw on Hangouts when I was asking for Bob the other day, that's exactly why I was asking for him. I wanted to do a coronavirus update video, but I also wanted to have somebody who knows what they're talking about so that I'm not pumping people up with sensationalism. Then he can calm me down and say, no, you're wrong. And okay, well, tell me. Yeah, you know, we're we're all here to have, you know, experts information. talk on this and get actual good information out there. Because even though YouTube's going to demonetize and suppress this video, um, so long as some people see it and this uh, Hangout has some good information in it, I think it's for the better. Especially when also in addition to this, we're also telling Riley to go fuck himself. Well, for the record, my dad, I mean, they're in Florida right now and I've called them multiple times and my dad's doing the, uh, like, just so you know, like, I thought he was a smart person and so it just shows that everybody's susceptible to being dumb because he's doing the old, you know, like the old man that dies on the side of the mountain when it explodes because, you know, wow, I've just never exploded my whole life, like, you know, he's just like, well, I'm coming home at the end of the month. I'm like, well, you might not even be able to get home at the end of the month, you know? Mm-hmm. And so, also looking at this, it goes, at Resurrect, can you fill us in, those who are late to the stream? Yes, so, Anthony Riley, otherwise known as the dumb fuck of the year, has decided to 
spew some conspiratorial bullshit about Corona. So let me just read it one more time, and uh, for reasons that were just mentioned, I will go ahead and just read it as is. So Tom Hanks and his wife have Corona. Uh, Mikhail Artida has it. Talks of the Premier League being suspended as of tomorrow. Australian Grand Prix cancelled. Where are all the deaths? What are we now? 10? All elderly or infirm? Cause of death said to be Corona, but no evidence. Just claims. It's still a drill being passed off as real world unless mortality at least gets above 5%. Anything less simply isn't statistically significant. This is going to be gone as quick as it was here. Something else is going on. Not nearly enough people are dying to justify this, so what else is going on? That's from uh, Sleeping Warrior, a.k.a. Anthony Riley, a.k.a. the dumb fuck of the year. And well, now and I am showing I the comment on screen so everyone can see it. Uh, but the and science guy says that uh, it says that you can't be messaged. It says that I can't. That's that's total horseshit. Because I most definitely can't. Uh, just just Where at is... me on Twitter. Just at me on Twitter. Just at me on Twitter. Um. So if you go down into his comments there, well, I've left a comment, but anyways, uh, you've got like the main comment. Well, main. I mean, it's got four up likes, but it's yeah, buddy. Let's wait until deaths are above ten percent. No use starting early to prevent as many deaths as possible. Yeah, I'm showing like, your which... comment right now. Oh, mine. My yeah, I was reading somebody else's, but yeah, and it says, "What if you was your grandmother?" But she's old, doesn't matter. So, I mean, that's kind of the point. He says, like, oh, it's just the old people. It's like, but how many people, like, how old is your dad? How old is your mom? Like, do you have parents still? Yeah, tell me about it, right? And it's, so, I still think it's so weird that he's, like, only basing it on the UK and not, like, you know, China or Iran or Italy. Or Germany, for that matter. We well, don't he's, have, yeah, he's, 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 UK, he's UK centric, isn't he? But look at this comment right here, under that. So sleepy comments, but then under his comment, the mortality rate of the regular flu is 130% higher. Why don't we shut the country down every flu season? Like, where did you get that piece of information? Because it's, it's, it's like literally a thousand times higher. Times, not percent even. Like, well, I guess that'd be... No, that's ten times a thousand percent. You know what I mean? I've done the math. Right, stop. You get something wrong. The mortality rate is, and the flu is actually lower. It's just the amount of people that get it that is higher, which is why the yes. total amount of people that get confusions, is yeah. But so, of course, so not if, not if you get sixty percent or seventy percent of the world suddenly gets COVID, because that's going to change in a hurry. Yeah, okay. So just so, saying, so rate, update, rate, update, in, update, update. So, and I, I'm talking guy, for the elderly, by the way, when I said thousands of times Optus more deadly. This guy is coming into this. Uh, this uh, hang on. I just I just sent him the link over Twitter, so he should be here momentarily. Uh, just I mean, regardless, this is all bad information. They're, they're all, none of them are throwing proper information and they're all saying, oh, it's nothing. And I've talked to lots of people even around here that, you know, you say something to them, they go, oh, it's only 1%. And you're like, think of how many people 1% is just quickly math yeah. it in your head. Just do math. Just quickly think, sit back and think of how many people 1% is. And you see them light up and you're like, yeah. Yeah, worldwide, that would be 70 million. Yeah. 1% apparently the the North American um the North American pandemic action plan after SARS that was developed says that at 1% fatality there will be so many they'll have a, what is it the same amount of deaths in a 3 week span as we would have in a 6 month span. So they said that mortuaries and 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 everything will just be overloaded so then if they're overloaded where are you putting bodies? So then you've got refrigerators that normally had food in them with bodies in them. Mm -hmm. Or you you bury them. Yeah, well, also, or you mass, you start mass burying people. Exactly. Yeah, like, or also, burying quick. Also, I did, I did want to, uh, I did want to showcase this is that one person made a comment in my live chat about car crashes being more significant than the Corona yet. We're not closing schools for car crashes. The difference is oh that God. the car crash is an accident. This is, this is a, a virus that's going around. That's killing people. This is a virus. Also, we have, we have already taken plenty of actions to prevent car crashes and deaths from them. How can a person compare those? It's like COVID doesn't have airbags. There's nothing we can do about that. <laughs> the, the thing is, is that this is a virus. Car crashes are accidents, okay? You do what you can, you know, install airbags, that kind of sh You You put safety features in place. That's why we with have regulations. Virus, with a virus, quarantine, checkups... 
making a vaccine if one is going to exist soon hopefully maybe well it's mutating sure. already now there's two types you know, already basically you need to take action on everything that is dangerous just because this dangerous thing isn't to your fucking standards does not mean we shouldn't be taking it seriously dumbass this is the not kind to mention of shit spreading that, it to everybody this is the kind of shit that riley is pushing for fuck's sake don't be like riley be better than that Anyway, Bob the Science Guy, how's it going? Hey, hey, buddy. Not too bad, and I'm going to use that does COVID have airbags line. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that, All right. That is just so damn ridiculous. It isn't funny. That's why we have seatbelts. The seatbelts are the same thing as shutting down the schools for three weeks here in Michigan. Yeah, it's preventative. Yeah, I mean, they just banned uh, meetings of more than 250 people, and they shut the schools down for three weeks. And that's appropriate. Mm -hmm. so, did you guys see the uh, CDC? Um, did you see the CDC uh, projections for COVID? Uh, I I saw the Michigan. I think it was in Michigan where they was at the CDC where they were talking in front of a the little billboard showing different colored lines. Well, no, the CDC just did projections. Now, assuming that we don't take preventative measures such as we're doing right now, they're estimating between two hundred thousand and one point seven million deaths from it and between 160 and 214 million people in the united states alone could be infected so, so that's what half, during the course of the oh, epidemic and we have, you said have death, 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 did you say sorry can i write i want to write that down what was the death numbers they cited 200 to 1. 200,000 to 1. 1.7 million Oh, shit. And between 160 and 214 million people in the United States could be infected over the course of the epidemic. So we have just that... shy, hang on, we have Sorry. just shy of 1 million hospital beds in the United States, and fewer than 10% are ICU beds. So uh, that would be up to half of the population infected at one point or another. Oh my More God. Than half. Oh, for More than half. Sake. Well, that's, yeah, that's the worst case scenario. Well, that's, that's the worst case scenario. scenario. That's, that's, press down really hard. That's worst case estimate, and that's if we do not put uh, preventative measures in place. Mm -hmm. Now, I also just had you know somebody question me on the numbers. There are 136,895 cases, confirmed cases of coronavirus, in the world, with just over 5,000 deaths. But that's going up like several thousand a day now, isn't it? Well, uh, the beginning of the week, we had we had our first two cases here in Michigan. We now have 16 and uh, 172, I believe it is. Are we went from one to three in 24 hours. Yeah, and that's not uncommon. And we went from like one to, uh, or we went from the two to 16 overnight. And there's 172 on surveillance right now, and there's that, something like 30, 30 people, their tests are still pending. That's probably a similar growth pattern, even for the two different countries, based on our population differences, frankly. Yes. Do we know, do we know have an estimate on what the R naught is at this point? Excuse me? The R naught. Do we know, know that, or is it the R naught? The R naught. R naught? I don't know what I you're think, saying either. That infection no factor that basically saying. tells you if you have one patient, how much... Oh, yeah. no, it's three. Like it's a three, patient. isn't it? You're talking about the one out of 20, the, the number out of 20? I think it's a three. Well, they're, they're looking... talking about R0, 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 R0 the basic re <laughs> reproduction rate. Oh, I don't... I know that they use a number... For, oh, you're talking about that. Okay. I yes. thought you were talking yeah. about the number for infectiousness when, like, if there's 20 people in a room and one person with a disease walks into it, how many people get sick? Because it's a three. Flu is one. Yeah. Now, I've got, a, I've got an interesting map here from the World Health Organization, if you guys would like to like me to post that in the chat. Yeah. You can just screen share it if you want. Uh, no, I can't. Um, oh, when if you, you want to can, post huh? Yeah, if you want to post it to the chat, we can grab it. It's in the chat. And see one come up. Oh uh, yeah, it's in the YouTube chat. In the oh YouTube, YouTube chat. Oh. oh, sorry. Uh, Bob, I don't, I don't think you have a uh, wrench, so it's not going to show up. 
Uh, well, I think I, you can fix that. I can fix that. <laughs> Make a comment that isn't a link. <laughs> and then you can fix it, yeah. John Cops Hopkins data map, uh, somebody said they have a data map, and I saw that, but did that, that map stopped working for a little while, and I stopped using it. Is it back to getting data again? I thought maybe the world had started exploding that day. <laughs> no, the John Hopkins map is a little bit more accurate than the World Health Organization map was uh, at the beginning of the week. Uh, I don't I've... see it in, in the live chat, uh, Bob. You, it might still be flagging it, so do me a favor. Type in sweaty oh, man nipples 1997. So I can see it. <laughs> you might have to switch it. Oh, there he is. There he is. There it goes. There is. Okay. Yay. And add moderator. Okay, Bob. Now you may post the link, and it will and it will show. Give me a second. It should. There. Major. Did that work? Let's see. I I tagged you with it. At reds. <laughs> I still don't see it. <laughs> I, I still don't see it. What the fuck? Tell him, tell him to hit refresh. Maybe it's got him stuck in. Well, slow, being a mod slow mode is on. Remember? No, this one went through. He's a mod, so it shouldn't be affected by slow mode. Maybe he should just refresh his page, so then he's an official mod or something. Maybe yeah, it doesn't know he's a mod page. yet. I'm doing just that. That that has to be it. Can you maybe just post it in the internal chat? I don't have access to it. Oh, I'm on okay. a couple of different. <laughs> I'm on a couple of different devices here. Uh, I blame Apple. You're on Apple, aren't you? <laughs> I'm on several. I'm on a whole bushel of them. Oh, for sake. That explains a lot. That does <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hate Apple so much. I'm not going to start that conversation though. That'll be on my channel. No, no, no. Oh, count me in. Uh, we'll we'll talk about <laughs> we'll talk about Tim Cook some other day. Uh, <laughs> let me. Uh, can you? If it doesn't work, can you just send it to me on the Twitters? The just... Twitter sphere. Yeah. Uh, Send it to me in a DM on Twitter, and then I'll... Well, I'm going to just... Here. Look, I'm going to pop on out, and I'm just going to do this again. Okay. For the simple reason that um, this is too much of a pain in the ass. Yeah, I imagine. All right, so I'm going to switch out here. Because I've got two Twitter accounts. One says I can't talk to you on. And why don't we just put this corona in slow mode? So he says, why don't we just put the virus in slow mode? There you go. <laughs> Acor according well, that's to, what we're trying to do. So we're trying to do I mean, exactly. Ac according to according to Donald Trump, just wait till it gets hotter outside. <laughs> oh my God, that was funny. <clears throat> well, and he, he wasn't. It was sad. Actually, it was a little scary. Today. He did hold a press conference today, didn't he? About three hours ago. Yeah, but did you see the woman grill him? Where he's like, he's like, he's been exposed, and he was saying basically he's not going to get tested. She's like, why the hell wouldn't you get tested? And he's like, well, I mean, I might get tested. She's like, you should be getting tested. It was basically like she gave him shit, saying, are you, you know, are you above other people? You don't think you this deserve to be tested? This is a guy that or? looked at the sun, looked directly at the sun during the eclipse. With no, the yeah, telling, him telling him not to. Him not to. <laughs> it's actually better, Brainy, because they all started shaking hands. Oh, I know, and they're touching the mic. They're grabbing the mic and pulling the mic down after he's used it. Meanwhile, they have no idea if he has COVID right now. Anybody kiss him? <laughs> our our uh, prime minister's uh, wife I, uh, has COVID, no, I, and they're they're no, waiting to test him, people, and he's in isolation. Well, yeah, your your prime minister's wife has it, but you know, even more importantly, Tom freaking Hanks has it. I, exactly. I, I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't. <laughs> I wouldn't want to kiss Trump. Not only because of you, the coronavirus. You don't I kiss Trump. I Trump don't, kisses you. I don't That's want. How this I do not want <laughs> Cheeto dust all over my face. <laughs> He's orange. It's crazy. Cheeto oh my dust. god! It's Cheeto dust. <laughs> oh. So anyway, enough of this shit. So uh, Bob. Yeah. Uh, can uh, can we can we get that? Linky, linky. Rodent, no, Rodent Nostradamus says, for real Z's, I'm heading to urgent care in a little bit for testing. Inflamed sinuses, scratchy throat, no fever yet, but I'm trying to stay ahead of the curve. Mm. Oh, shit. Um, fever, dry think... cough. Fever, dry cough, body aches. Um, hey, listen, like Rodent, that. if you think you're, you, you possibly are, can, you know, have it, you, what they recommend is you call the hospital or the care center first and inform them you're coming. Exactly. You don't just they, show up with the plague. Yeah. Yeah, they want you. They want to know you're coming, and they will probably like get okay. So, what time do you think you're going to be there? And they are going to meet you outside, and they they might have some gloves to put on you and a mask, and they're going to follow a protocol. Exactly, and you know it's not like we're going to be shy about treating you. We're happy to treat you. 
It's just, you know, we don't want you infecting our entire waiting room. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, and the Which doctors is, and, and then everybody. Well, and and our that, doctors, that we need these people. Issue. You know, we need these people to stay healthy so they can help other people. So just, yeah, make sure you, uh, yeah, they've been telling everybody that. Just call ahead, tell them you, you know, you just, you're concerned for this reason or that reason, and you fit a few of the parameters and you would like to come down and they'll, they'll tell you when and how and where. So let's see. But then you have to pay for it, I guess, or no, not now. They waived that. That's the weirdest thing I've ever heard of in my life. To us, that was shocking. I was like, I even didn't even think about it when somebody said, "Well, they they have to waive the payments for testing." I'm like, "Oh my god, that's right, because everything's paid for." Like here, I would, I just doesn't even cross my mind. I just go down and say, "I think I have COVID," and they would test me because I just, it's not, it's just not how it works, right? So you get used to your system. Mm. Yeah, here. I think, uh, should we? Few of our leaders Bob, Bob, did you st- mm. Bob, did you see the comment that uh, started the re- the whole reason we're doing this hangout? Yep. Oh, did he? Oh, good. I mean, just wanted to check up since you were um, ran late. I don't think we're getting that link from Bob, though. So, Bob, if you need a screen share, that's fine too. You know, look, man, I'm trying to get over here. I've got to get. I've got to get the goddamn link. It's on a different account. Oh. It's just. Is it from a what is the what is the is it a website or is it like a certain university? Maybe I could try to find it. What is it? Yeah, what is it I about? Got it. I, okay, I got it now. Hang on, I'll be there in a minute. Okay. Good. To, good. To and the only if you're still like verbally here or whatever, the only other thing. Oh no, there he goes. I see. Never mind. <laughs> I, I think I think the important thing here is that what we all need to do, just all together, is. A little bit of common sense. Wash your hands, don't touch your face, don't shake hands, you know, try to, you know, have your personal space bubble be a little bit bigger than it usually is. And if you're an introvert, then good for you. This is a perfect excuse. Um, You know, basically don't go outside. Not that we do that anyway, but just try to stay indoors. All right, I'm here now. And don't pour toilet paper because that's fucking dumb. If oh Jesus! Have, yeah. might, this this is hot off the press. Everybody, Canada is considering closing the border with the U.S. Eh, about time. <laughs> but but either way, that's huge. There's a ton of trade between our two countries. That's massive. Honestly, you should just build a wall. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. We should probably build a wall. Oh, but who's going to pay for it? Can we? Can I we? Think you should build the wall, and you should pay for it. Make this, us pay. This is, for it. Can we start filling yours with water slowly, we though? We are getting into a conversation for another time. So, <laughs> yeah. so, so, Bob, uh, about this link. <coughs> oh, oh no, I'm dying. Oh God, who is that? That's me. That's the beaver. All right, Sorry. beaver. You I got covered a, my cough. You got a fever there, slick. No, I've been, I, well, I was at the airport like twenty. I read now twenty four hours after the two confirmed cases in Manitoba. So you know that's great. I was like, oh, perfect. I, well, I was at the airport. Like, Can COVID nineteen be transmitted over the internet? No, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a computer virus. Not yet. Did you? I saw a meme today though where it said this just in: COVID nineteen found in the <laughs> inside toilet paper. It said, and then it said like the little thing at the bottom says, uh, "Scientists discover it breeds rapidly in the fibers of toilet paper." <laughs> that explains a lot. For for the uh, stupider part of the audience, that was a joke. Um... That was not serious. People do not take that as information, please. Fuck's sake! Okay. Well, it's scary that we have to say that, but we do. Okay, so, okay, uh, we're not going to get this link, so let me go yeah, ahead. Yeah, yeah, right, I've got it here. I'm, I'm pulling it up right now. I will put it in. I had to go through 15 different things to get it. But that's okay. Mm-hmm. There we go. I got it. Here it oh, is. Oh, there you go. Okay. Go ahead. Post, post that shit. Well, here, fuck it. I can just go to it, right? And then I can screen share it with you. I guess I was about to ask a question that this is going to answer. I was going to say, do you think, like, where do they think we are on this curve? Because they obviously know a little bit more than the average human being because everything has suddenly started rapidly closing. Mm-hmm. Are you screen sharing? Yep. Because I'm not seeing shit. Yep. Oh, there we there go. We go. Well, now we got ah, something. We got much something. better. There okay. You go. All right. Let let us let's, let's do this. Okay. You are being. Let's go through everyone. this. All right. Let's go. Let's go through this and see what we got here. 
Let's go to the part important part of the world here. Mm -hmm. All right. So over here on the right side, we've got country by country number of cases. So you see China's got 81,000 cases roughly. And you can tell how many cases each country has by the size of the dot. China's got a big dot. We got a little dot. You got a smaller dot up here. What's what? How's Mexico rating such a low case case load? But in any event, now this part right over here is kind of interesting. These are the number of cases that were diagnosed. Right up here at top is the December thirty first when they first started, and then they had a phase where they went up to about here. Now this phase of the virus was one subtype of the virus that had a mortality rate of about 17%. Now, the cases that are coming after February have a lower mortality rate, around 0.7%. But you see where they're starting to do this testing, and they're getting these big spikes? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then right out here where they started, the CDC started releasing the test kits. You see how we're getting more of them? Now, look mm -hmm. what's happened in the last two days. That's the 11th. That's the 12th. Wonder where the 13th's going to be. Yeah. And, um, you know, there's a couple of things here. Hang on just a second. See, here's what we're doing in Michigan right now. You got this? Yeah. Okay, positive for coronavirus, 16 on the 13th. That's today. It was two yesterday. Maybe three, I forgot. Right now, they've got 26 tests pending, and they're actively monitoring 255 people. That's up from 172 this morning. Ooh. All right, there used to be this 172. Now it's up to 255, and that's from this morning. So, shit's this getting is, real. Yeah, this is ugly stuff. I think, you know, the planet of the apes is coming here. Over here but, in, uh, in Germany, the number is doubling approximately every 48 hours. We yep. went from 2,000 yesterday to about 3,600 today. You know, cool. on the top. You know, this is what kind of pisses me off. You know, they don't have these numbers in alphabetical order. They do have them in the number of cases. Yeah, they do it by the number of cases. How many you got right now? Uh, 3,600 approximately is the latest figure I've seen. There it is. Germany. 3,062 3, according to WHO. And as I said, the WHO numbers are, are probably lagging one day behind. Yeah, um, again, I've seen the, the latest figure I've seen was 3,600. Look at Italy, man. Yeah, it's getting oh, painful. Shit. Yeah, North Italy, Italy is basically a fucking war zone. Zone their hospitals. Yeah, but I mean this. This is actually a pretty serious infection, and the problem that you run into is that, you know, the H one N one influenza, and I personally lost a friend of mine to that. That was, uh, you know, the Spanish flu of nineteen nineteen, nineteen eighteen, nineteen nineteen was a variation of H1N1 influenza. Now, it's not the flu virus itself that kills you. It's the same thing that happens with SARS. What happens is, is your body's immune system tries to overwhelm the flu, and it's like pouring a can of gasoline on an anthill. And your immune response is what kills you. And that's oh, why... Oh, it's a cytokine storm. Yeah, it's a cytokine storm, exactly. And that's what happened in 1918, 1919, and the people that it killed were not the elderly. It was the young, healthy people with really strong immune systems. And they got the storm, and that's what offed them. So they so shut down peripherally, their hands and their fingers and their toes fell off. They became hypoxic. And uh, it was just... I miss what causes this? This is from... I missed that part. I was daydreaming for a second. What exactly? Right. You're familiar with the idea of an allergic and anaphylactic reaction yeah, where you yeah, get absolutely. stung by a bee, which is a non-lethal problem, right? And your body kills you. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yep. All right. The same thing happened with Spanish flu in 1918, 1919. You got the influenza and your body killed you. All right. There is a cytokine storm going on in SARS, in, in MERS. 
and now on COVID-19, and that is a particularly nasty thing to deal with. Now, right now, we're dealing with primarily the deaths are in folks 70 and above, but if we start running into more of this storm and we start getting more people infected, you're going to see young people dying from this. And that is a very good reason to stop public schools. It's a good reason to close borders. You know, my, my son is now out of school for three weeks and his teacher and 20 members of a class from our high school are stuck over in the Netherlands right now. And I don't know if they're going to be able to get home. My practice manager is in Jamaica right now. I don't know if she's going to be quarantined if they let her back in the United States. So, and the economic impact on this stuff, if I, I have to shut my practice down for a month, it'll go bankrupt. You know, so guys, smash that super chat the next time I go live. I may need that for grocery and toilet paper. Oh, shit. Yeah, and, the, and also just... And I'm a just, freaking doctor. You know, imagine the guys, you know, the guys that are already struggling that try, you know, tried to make their living plowing snow this right. winter. And, and just, They're not going to be able imagine to Imagine you're like your, the waiter at your local fast food restaurant. Exactly. Like, well, just well, just to be clear for the dipshit known as uh, Anthony Riley, otherwise known as the dumb fuck of the year, who won it for obvious reasons... Uh, Every every day that passes from this point going forward, the number just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. That's what the data is showing. Like when we test for it, we got a spike, and now as the days have progressed, we're getting more and more and more cases. Yeah, basically we're in the exponential phase. Yes, and that yes. appears to be almost. And you can worldwide. see that right here. You see that? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. um, can All you right. switch that graph logarithmic if that's possible? I don't think so. No. No, I can't. All right, so let's do one last thing. Coronavirus. Yeah, so Riley... Here's the right article now, right here. Right now, the way things are going, things are getting worse, and they're getting worse quick. So, Riley, yeah. you need to stop spreading your bullshit. For once in your fucking life, stop spreading your fucking conspiracy theories. It's All not right. only conspiracy theories in this case. We still haven't talked about the, the third part of his comments. Yeah. The worst yeah. part. But here's yeah, one last that thing that part. I want to share, and then I'm going to cut my screen share. You see the New York Times here. Mm -hmm. Do a search for CDC coronavirus projections. All right. There are four projections that they have made. Okay. Right here. Whoa. 200,000 to 1.7 million people and between 160 and 240 million, 14 million people in the United States alone could be infected in this. Is there a time and, frame for this? Yes. Yeah, that's what I want to know. It says in the paragraph. Yeah, is it one? Is it over the course of a year? Over could last that, months? That, okay. It yeah. says could last months or, or even over a year with the infection concentrated in shorter periods. Okay, so this is real term, real time stuff here, and we have a million hospital beds in the United States. All right, and I think it, it said something in one of the other articles in Italy. They're having to uh, ration ventilators, and I'm trying to figure yeah. out how in the hell they're going to ration. You, a you ventilator. do that, but a splitter. Kind of like, yeah, you know, like, well, you hold your breath for thirty seconds, so we'll ventilate this other one. Oh my you god. <laughs> They, they, have effect, they have effectively, um, in, if I remember correctly, they have effectively used the same system they used their, um, they would use during war. Called triage. Um, yeah. Well, they, they were saying in Canada, they were. I was watching somebody. They said, "Oh, we are, you know, currently securing more ventilators, and we have plans to bring them in." I'm like, "Plans to bring them in? Were you going to knife fight all the other countries for the ventilators? This is bullshit." Plans to bring them in. Where are they going to get them? Well, that's the problem that you're going to run into. And, you know, I mean, the thing is, if we're going to run out of ventilators, they're sure as hell not going to Canada and vice versa. Um, but you've got to have you've got to have the excess to be able to disperse it. Now, fortunately, we have a shit ton of medical equipment here. All right. I mean, a real shit ton. So we've got some to spare, probably. But still, if you're looking at something that's this devastating, you know, where are you going to put these ventilators? In a med surge bed? 
where you've got a med surge nurse trying to trying to watch 20 ventilators at once that's beyond the capability of an ICU nurse an ICU nurse may only supervise three to five patients at a time and you want to pull a med surge nurse in and have her have mm-hmm. her run shotgun on on 20 vents that's just not going to happen how many doctors are you going to have now when the doctors and the nurses starting getting start getting sick what are you going to do that <sighs> this and is what and if people thing, go ahead, sir, you you keep talking, please. Yeah, the thing about it is, is you know, like, look, normally, you know, I've been doing this for thirty years. Normally, you kind of power through the flu, you know, because somebody's got to take care of the patient. Well, you know, if you get really sick, you're going to have to uh, see whether or not somebody can cover your patients, or you can do it by phone, or do something or other. But, you know, I mean, I had a cardiac cath when I was forty-one. And I was back to work seeing patients three days later after they told me I should not walk on the leg for three weeks. You know, like, screw that. I'm a solo provider. These people depend on me. That's my job. And if I have to go around in a wheelchair on rounds, I will. But, you know, but there's, with the flu, it's a contagious illness. You can't be running into ICUs and nurseries when you have the flu. And, you know, no, you're not dying, uh, despite what they say about man flu, for the most part. But you can't, you can't take that into a hospital. There's enough bad things in hospitals as it is without you giving it to your patients. First, do no harm. Yeah. So I'm off the soapbox now. All right. All Basically, right. fuck you, Anthony. Exactly. And that leads us to the fi- final bit. So it says here, and this is where it gets really stupid. Well, this is uh, not only bad sentence structure, but uh, yeah, yeah, you you guys are going to see it. You guys are going to see it. It's still a drill being passed off as real world unless mortality at least gets above 5%. Anything less simply isn't statistically significant. This is going to be gone as quick as it was here. Something else is going on. Not nearly enough people are dying to justify this. So what else is going on? Okay. Do you all guys understand what's the problem with this? Yeah. There's a lot. Yeah, it's irresponsible and a violation of YouTube policy and it should be taken down. I agree. That's one thing, but I'm talking in terms of statistics. Yeah, well, he, he doesn't. doesn't have, he doesn't. Sick. He, he hasn't given him time to die. Uh, no, he no, understands he, statistics as well as he understands law and science. And and another thing that I'm going to do. Usually, I don't tell my audience to do stuff, but uh, I am going to break away from tradition and ask my audience to actually do something. So I'm posting the link to this uh, shit right now in my live chat. If you all can do me a favor and go to this post and just tell Sleeping Warrior that he's a colossal piece of shit, that'll be great. And if there is a report feature for shit there like is. this, then please report it because this shit is actually fucking dangerous. It doesn't have a promotes dangerous stuff, though. It actually has just uh, terrorism, bullying, hate speech. Like, it actually is missing the one that you would use for this. Yeah, go figure. Thanks, YouTube. The public health hazard. No, well, that's not. It's dangerous activity. You can post it under dangerous activity or something. Like. That's the one that's missing under this. There is one. It's unwanted commercial content of spam, pornographic, child abuse, hate speech, or graphic violence. Promotes terrorism. You literally are missing the one, the one tab that you would use to because it is that one. Does you're right? It's it's dangerous content. That would be the one you'd look, but it's not there for some reason on the community posts. Well, I guess promotes terrorism is the closest thing. It's bioterrorism. Yeah, that's, and, that's what I'm putting it under. You know, and while you're at it, you know, go ahead and have a look at the look at the next one over there where he uh, starts talking about Mr. Spen- Sensible being a spastic, which means incompetent. He's call- calling him, quote-unquote, a spaz, and the entire thing is about how spazzy he is. That's hate speech. Report that one, too. So maybe for those who aren't, uh, who maybe aren't super familiar with statistics, so what's Riley here is 
so in statistics, you have this thing where something has to be, um, so for something to be statistically significant, you have to have a p-value of less than five, which basically means that there is a five, there's a less than five percent chance that the result you got was just random by random chance. Riley is used taking that concept and applying it to the mortality rate of the virus. He's effectively saying that because le because the mortality rate is less isn't um, um isn't isn't more than five percent that it's not statistically significant, and so we should ignore it. It doesn't well, make problem. any fucking sense. No, it's it even, doesn't. But it, even if you want to use, even if it did make sense, he's using it. He has the numbers the wrong way around. The correct way to do it would be to compare people that have coronavirus to people that did not have coronavirus and yes. see whether or not the mortality had a P rate, had, had a, a significant P value. Guess what, Sonny? It does. Yeah. All right. So stop being an asshole, Riley. You know, how many, you know, this could be your mother. It could be my mother. You know, any deaths are too many, but when you're looking at the potential between 200,000 and 1.7 million, unless we do something significant and quick. In the U.S. alone. In the U.S. Well, is there any place else? <laughs> oh, just checking. America. But, uh, you know, in the U.S. alone, I will, guys, stand corrected on that. But in the U.S. alone, that's a, that's a shit ton of people. That means that everybody in the United States will know somebody that died of coronavirus, probably. Yep. That's what I've tried to tell people here when I had one girl saying, oh, you know, well, first of all, the level of misinformation, like, oh, it's just as, con just as deadly as the flu. I'm like, well, I mean, actually, on average, it's like 10 times deadlier than the flu, even if you're 10 young. 10 to 35 times. Well, yeah, 10 to 30 is what I've been saying. So thank you for, I mean, I was a little off, but that's close then at least. So yeah, I told them, I said, depending on which numbers you use, 1% to 3%, it's 10 to 30 times deadlier on average across the population. But I said, if you're old, I mean, I said to the same person, I said, do you have grandparents? I said, pretty soon they're going to be drawing a healthy circle around themselves and telling you to stay the F away from them. Yeah. And and I just, I just want to make something extremely clear. I do not like reporting comments. I really, I really do not like reporting comments. However, this has Danger. reached a level where it would be irresponsible of me to not report the comments. And... I tend to agree on this, Reds. Usually when I see a comment that's absolutely idiotic, I pinpoint it or I pin it to the top of my comment section so that everybody can see how stupid it is. Exactly. Yeah, I but can in this case, order. this is such a big hazard such such a big danger to the population that it needs to go yeah Full stop. I, I, and you've got I, I would, I would, and I are going live like every day telling people for hours a day and they just talk for hours about nonsense and it's all misinformation I listened to them for an hour and it was it was scary the shit they were saying they were giving people non-information at all and they all think it's real information that they can go home and not worry about it yeah so guys ju just just know that I don't like reporting comments because I I will defend someone's right to spew bullshit, you know, all day, every day. But when that stupid shit turns into dangerous stupid shit, when it turns into that, we got to draw the line. And so that's 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 what it is right now. So. Posting a link to the comment, and Geo already did it as well. Do me a favor. Post in the comment section, if you can, that everything that Sleeping Warrior is doing right now with this comment is dangerous. And also report the comment. Because I have to draw a line in the sand somewhere. I don't usually do this, and that's... One of the reasons why the cunt signal is currently shining bright in the sky, we have to we have to fight against misinformation like this. So, guys, if you all can do me a favor, report this comment any way that fits. You know, don't lie if you can help it. I know YouTube doesn't really give us much options here. Thanks, YouTube. But uh, if you can report it, please do. 
because this shit is not just stupid, it's stupid and dangerous. So, I again, I don't like doing that. I will defend a person's right to say stupid shit all day, every day, but the very moment it crosses that threshold into being dangerous, enough is enough. So, I know I'm probably going to gonna get some backlash from uh, Riley and all of his flirt, uh, flirt friends, he'll probably false flag, but you know what? Oh no, how horrible. How fucking horrible. The, idiot, the idiots are calling you out. Yeah, so... Tis what it is, you know, I'll go ahead and, and, you know, roll with the punches, I guess. But stupid shit like this that is branching into dangerous fucking territory, no. Fuck that. Fuck this guy. So please report, report, report. Report the fucking comment. And I'll post the link to it. Once again, call, call him a dipshit. And call him out for being dangerous and then report the fucking comment because this shit cannot stay up. So there's the uh, there's the comparison and it only goes up to 60 plus years. Um, but I've, I've got a different chart I'll show in a minute. But this is current numbers out of China. And these are kind of coming fairly true. These numbers are pretty static compared to other numbers. So that's that's compared to the seasonal flu on the left side. So anybody tells you you know, it's just a typical flu. You know, if you're really young, you know, that's somewhat true. If you're not quite so young or you've got health problems, then it starts going up really aggressively. So, Holy and that's, shit. Yeah, oh, yeah, dude, that. I've got, I've got another one. Hold on. Uh, where is it here? Nope, not that one. This one. There you go. That, that's, that's, I think that's brand new. That's like up to date. That's the current numbers, the way they came, they come out of China right now, which was obviously the largest case study at this point. Uh, COVID-19 case fatality rate increases with age according to China's data. So, yep. uh, and that, that correlates with every other graph that, that, that has come out is that it's just like a linear curve. You look all the way down to zero to nine is like 0 0.01, which is actually a 10th of that of, of the flu. And that follows other things I've read that said that apparently children are showing a little bit of extra resilience, uh, they don't know why is what I said. I read that they think maybe because they're already like flooded with coronavirus antibodies because they're just smearing snot on each other. Yeah. And I also want to. I saw uh, that. Yeah. I also want to apologize for people uh, who are super chatting and I'm uh, not paying attention. So I do apologize for that, but I'll try to catch up. Uh, Rez for $5 Australian says when your free speech starts negatively affecting the lives of others, it's not free anymore. Uh, Ilya Moon, got you friend, F him, $5, thank you. So, let's see, and then C4 for $5, SW with a mill finger. So, hey, I got a graph for you too here. Isn't it ironic that when, when I'm looking at this, uh, at this, uh, slide, that what Flat Earthers are not, or what Anthony Riley is not doing at the moment is flattening the curve? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is exactly it. Like, it's not a matter... They know a lot of people are going to get sick, but this is the difference between if you, that's the same number of illnesses between those two, those two charts right there. Is, well, the integral uh, isn't drawn perfectly, but it's supposed to be the same area. Yeah, yeah, it's not drawn properly. That blue one should be longer and everything right, to correct. the right. It's not, it's not properly scaled. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a science communication tool. It's a, actually, it's brilliant. It's brilliantly, it's a brilliant teaching tool. Whoever, yeah. whoever made, came up with that curve first deserves a fucking medal. Well, okay, so actually the way it evolved is somebody came up with the curve first using the CDC uh, and something data, and then somebody on Twitter, um, this isn't the original, this is the final version that's now mm -hmm. being used by everybody. Somebody uh, on Twitter took that version and they put a line across it said healthcare capacity. Uh, God's uh, auditor, uh, Probably you're, say something you're, you're right, you don't have the right to make demands like that. So, okay. am in Washington... Arguably yeah. worst in the country, uh, UW shut down classes a week before finals. UW Medicine is one of the best med schools in the country. Do math. Yeah, there you go. So, so of course, China slowed right down, and now the rest of the world's getting its turn. Mm -hmm. and, and we're not going to be able to do that line that China has there. We're not going to be able to do that. It will not be that level. They, they've got draconian... Jesus, there's a video of an old lady out in the streets... And a drone comes down out of the sky and starts giving her shit for not having a mask on. I, we just can't do that here. Yeah. Also, uh, God's honor. Don't worry. It, it, I was I was joking. I was joking. You're cool. We're cool. We're cool, dude. We're cool. 
don't worry, we're cool. Love you, man, or girl. I don't judge. Anyway, um, let me go back here and... Well, they shut down visitors to the state prisons here in Michigan. So we don't have drones coming out of the sky, but, you know, if you're in jail, you, your loved ones can't even visit you right now. Oh, I mean, that seems all... like a good idea. If it first starts going around in a jail, that's... Oh, that's, that'd be terrible. Then, then everyone fucking gets it. Over here, Paul, yeah. Paul, yeah. Uh, so, all retirement homes are actually on lockdown, which means that if there's no medical emergency, you can't go over there. I am also uh, showing here that a lot of uh, people in the live chat are going over to this uh, Sleeping Warrior comment or post, whatever the fuck we want to call it, and they're doing good work over there. So thank you guys very much. Again, I hate asking people to report comments. I, I, I really do hate that. It's not what we do on this channel, but this is getting, like I said, it, it, it's getting dangerous pretty quickly. And Sleeping Warrior, I'm sorry. Go fuck yourself, dude. Actually, I'm not sorry. Go fuck yourself. So It's just frightening how little people pay attention. And they'll say things like, it's only 1% fatal. And you just, again, I've repeated that again. But still, you just like, can, can you can you think about what how many people that is? Just, just do some math. Just really quick. No, he Learn can't. doing math. But I think that the one thing that he should do is that comment was posted 23 hours ago. He should compare the statistics between 23 hours ago and now. Well, that's a good idea. I like and that. And if he can't, if he can't grasp the significance of that, and I strongly doubt Sleeping Warrior has the intellect to be able to grasp that in a, that that. I don't doubt it. I know he doesn't. I think that he probably has a female that's with him or a parent or somebody that probably has more than three brain cells that can explain it to him. All right? Hopefully. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and bring the stream off. Um, I am going to leave the stream up for a little bit of time. Uh, Geo, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this video for you and send you a download link. That way you can upload it directly onto your channel. Um, that then sounds I'll, good. Thank you. And then what I'll do is I'll direct people to your channel to watch this hangout since I don't keep hangouts on this channel. Uh, but I will keep it up on this channel just for a little bit of time. And then it will be on Geo's channel. So Geo, if you could do me a favor and post your link in the uh, live chat, the link to your channel in the live chat so people can go over there. Uh, sure. Subscribe to find this video again because it will be taken down in like a few hours or so. Okay, can I just, before we take this off, can I give you, I did. I just did that, okay? So, by the way, UK numbers in that 24-hour span of infection, not, not deaths, just infections, between the time he posted that and right now, or six hours ago, it went from 140 to 798 mm. in 24 hours. So, holy shit. Now, Sleeping Warrior, since you are really freaking stupid, and you are as disorganized as your thesis. That is a <laughs> huge amount of growth. All right. That Holy is God. a crisis level of growth in That's 23 cool. hours. And if you cannot grasp that, take down your irresponsible comment now. Well, I might have read that wrong, but it's still massive growth. It's like 400. So it doubled. It doubled in 24 hours. So I read, I misread the number. It it only went up by 100. So the previous 24 hours, it went up by 140. The next 24 hours, it doubled. It went up by 400. So it's it, that quadrupled its growth rate. That point still fucking stands. Like, that's crazy. Yep. Yeah. So that's yeah, nothing changed there. In fact, that almost made it worse in my head, actually, what I just said. So, well, in Michigan, as I said, we went from two or three one day to four to sixteen the next. What we need now? To what's be, it going to be tomorrow? What so we what's need it to be clear? Clear here is that you're going to see a lot of misinformation on the net about this virus that's going around. But the one thing I want to make sure that everyone understands is that it should be taken seriously. If anyone tells you that this shit is not a big deal or it'll be gone as quickly as it arrived or whatever. Oh. It basically, if they start talking like Donald Trump, tell them to fuck off, please. Oh. And take this shit seriously, all right? Don't be like Riley. Be better than Riley. We should all strive for that. Be better than Riley. A lot better That's than Riley. 
That's setting the bar really low. I know it's setting the bar low, but sometimes that's all you need. Take this shit yeah. seriously. Take this shit seriously. Don't listen to Riley. Fuck that guy. Take this shit seriously. That's it. Just take it. Wash your hands, people. Wash your hands. Increase your personal bubble. Be a little bit more of an introvert. That kind of shit. All right. For the gamers among you, uh, Borderlands Three actually hit the market today on Steam, and Doom Eternal will next week. So you got time to spend there if you have the time. Do you see what I just shared? Uh, wait. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Do you see that Wuhan? Nice. Yep. <laughs> Needs. All right. Preach that shit on all your channels. Um, Did you come up with that abbreviation? No, I I didn't. That came off of Dr. Mike's, one of the commentators on Dr. Mike mentioned that. And I liked it so much, I I stole it. I do that uh, all the time. Can you uh, send this this image to me over uh, Twitter? And what I'll do is I'll make that the thumbnail for this hangout. And then you know what? Stop the panic over the toilet paper. Show everybody mine and that'll, that'll put an end to it. There you go. (laughs) <laughs> we can we can we can nip this in the butt early. Look, doc, Dr. Mike had a really good way of doing it, and that is that you know, be alert but don't be anxious. Mm-hmm. Do your hand washing. Stay away from people that are sick. Avoid large crowds. I mean, do the Wuhan. Wash your hands. Use a mask properly. Have your temperature taken to see if you've got a fever. Avoid large crowds and never touch your face. Don't, don't put your don't finger know. in your nose. That just uh, introduces the brutal. virus to it. Just so, my life. Well, there you go. As I scratch <laughs> my nose. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> it's fun. It's almost impossible. Did you see the thing where they were all talking about not touching your face and then it showed on Colbert Report within like, it was like 10 seconds later, them like licking their fingers and flipping pages yeah, and shit. Exactly. <laughs> ba- basic, basically, take it seriously. And with that, we'll go ahead and take this off here. So um, this will be re-uploaded on Geo's channel, so go there to watch it. And you guys already have a link to uh, Riley's irresponsible post, so do humanity a favor and report that shit for the dangerous shit that it is. <coughs> because, like I said, fuck not taking this shit seriously. Um, anyone who says that it should not be taken seriously is being irresponsible as hell. Don't listen to them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down the line. So let's start with you, Brainy. Say what you got to say and get the fuck out. That means unmute. Uh, I just released a video. There's 309 people watching. Go check it out. Please give me a like. Love you all. All right. And uh, microbloganism. Say what you got to say and get the fuck out. Fuck you, Riley. Go wash your hands, people. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Bob, say what you got to say and get the fuck out. Okay, I built a flat earth map today. Go watch the video. Subscribe to my channel. I love you. Um, wash your fucking hands. Yep. Mm-hmm. And stay six feet away from anybody that's sneezing. That's you. Take care. All right. Hey, Brainy, I have a question. Why the fuck are you still here? Oh, I'm supposed to get out. That's right. I forgot. Okay, bye. Okay, and Geo, say what you guys say and get the fuck out. Well, I can only repeat what the other guys have been telling you already. Uh, be a little bit careful. Wash your hands. Don't lick any doorknobs. Um, don't touch your face if possible. Stay away from large crowds um, and don't panic. I think that's the most important one. All right, sounds good. And uh, like I said, this Hangout will be re-uploaded on Geo's... Uh channel i'll keep this stream up for a little bit maybe a few hours uh let it do the rounds and stuff i'll download it send it to you geo so you can re-upload it and uh if you all can do me a favor uh since there's a lot of you watching this live stream right now when this stream goes off air do me a favor go to the bathroom and wash your fucking hands i don't care if you're about to have a meal or what you're going to do after this stream is over Go to the bathroom, go to the washroom, go to the sink, and wash your fucking hands. All right? Sound like a sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan to me. So, Geo, thanks for shining the cunt signal. And uh, 
Riley, go fuck yourself. All right, guys. Peace, peace. Thanks, Gio. Sure thing.